I'm Yang Huajing. Currently, I'm a currently I'm an undergraduate student from Fudan University, Shanghai, China. Here, since we are in Japan, I would like to present something with Japanese characteristics. Oh yeah, as you can see in the title, the anime. So as a Japanese anime and the games in Southeast, I love anime characters. But unfortunately, I'm very poor at artistic designing and drawing. So I'm dreaming that my deep learning can compensate for it. As today's last talk, I won't talk much about the hardcore technique details, but focus on the interest part which anime deep learning brings. Hope you can relax and enjoy this talk. This is today's agenda for my talk. I believe that everyone has more or less know about the generative adversarial networks. So I'm first skimming through it. Then I will give a brief introduction to on the de development of our popular anime game project. Today's focus will be the later part of our two ongoing projects. First, how games solve the problems in blockchain-based ERC721 games, followed by our efforts on bridging the real world and anime world with games. The original, uh, uh, let's quickly review GAN and its origi original intention. Traditionally, the training of adversarial model, uh, generative model is based on maximum likelihood estimation. In those models, uh, explicit density functions are always required. On contrast, GAN is an implicit generative model. GAN can transform a simple Gaussian latent variable to an extremely complex distribution with deep neural nets. It keeps the likelihood away and makes the model simple but powerful. The original idea of GAN training is quite simple. Imagine that an adversarial game between two game pool players, namely a generator G and a discriminator D. The generator proposes samples from noise and try to follow the discriminator while the discriminator tries to distinguish between samples from gener model G and samples from real data. Yes, I know you. Th them, them, the image might be confused. The upper image is generated from our model, and the lower one is from training data. Compared to other models, surprisingly, game based model can gain impressively images. This attracts plenty of attention from both research community and the general public. Since game. Since DC GAN came out, they followed by a lot of work supplying GAN or GAN variants on the task of enemy phase generation. Uh, that's interesting, but the results are not totally satisfying since they are distorted or blurred with unnatural frequencies. As you can see, those images look somehow like enemy phase, but will never satisfy enemy lovers. We can easily point out those failures and uh, criticize on those results. As a starting point, we investigate faults of previous anime games and believe that the proper handling of image domain plays the most important roles. Anime faces are different from photorealistic human faces, where everyone has similar fe facial feature proportions. Moreover, Anime faces are deformed style by style, and the uh, images of different style have different facial feature proportions. Furthermore, each coloration style has completely different local texture, so they might be different understood by the neural network. A diverse but consistent data set is the first step towards high quality generation. We collect images from Japanese game sellers available online and find that they are quite suitable for our training. Then we calibrate the image by first estimating facial landmarks and then inferring the bounding box of face, then rotating and cropping accordingly. The, face in the facial landmark estimation is made possible thanks to Nagodomi's awesome incredible open source project anime face Ruby. Uh, but, but I want to make a clarification there. A lot of people ask me that why we only have an GANs for anime girls, not anime boys. One reason is that GAN is very data hungry and uh, anime girl images are available online. It's much larger, has a much larger quantities compared to anime boy images. Another critical point is that this library, anime face 
face library. It, ha it has a very poor record on enemy f boy face detections, which means that if you want to build an enemy boy again, you are required to start with the, facial, uh, the face detection part. It's, it's quite uh, labor intensive. And uh, the bounding box inference is inspired by data processing protocol described in Carol Karras' wonderful progressive growing GAN paper. Such a landmark based qualification can largely stabilize the facial GAN training and reduce the complexity of training. Unconditional generative model works, but lacks of controllability if any, and soon become impractical, impractical in real world. We want to enable users' controllability by associating the attributes with images. As shown on the right, we would like the attributes are human interpretable, such as blue eyes, short green hairs. We then select several attributes that, that are typically used in illustrations. This estimating is by, uh, the, uh, done by applying a protein illustration to vector to networks. As we, as we mentioned before, our generator allows user controlling by specifying desired attributes. The attribution is user controllable parts like colors of hairs, eyes, or whether to smell or not. The the noise is interpreted by the generator as a guide to drawing image, such as broadly how to correctly make image, and uh, concretely what are face shapes, directions, and rotations. Look at the sample image on the left. In the upper row, with fixed attribute and the user specify what, what to show, and with different noise, the model decides how to draw differently. In the lower row, with fixed noise, the model draws in similar way but following different sets of attributes specified by user. This image shows that our model knows how to draw a proper image as well, faithfully following user's specification. Another instructing example is only changing the year attribute while fixing noise and uh, all other attributes. The difference might be subtle, but a hardcore anime fan will instantly recognize the temporal style changes in the <laughs> here, such as the shape of the eyes, the ratio of eye size against the face size. This shows that our model can destroy and reproduce the artistic style evolution in Japanese anime industry. We have made our model available online and runnable on your browser. It can run on any browsers, PC or mobile phone. Also, if you have GPU, local, uh, we you can enable the, the local GPU acceleration. The model will adapt uh, with GPU or WebGL to accelerate the neural network computation. It is done by awesome WebDN library. We also contribute to our change to this library development. The, the, this site shows that customization with all attributes specify, uh, specifiable as shown on the left. It ha has attracts um, millions of access and more than 31,000 sharing on Twitter. The URL is shown here. Make dot girls dot moe. In Japanese, moe means cute. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the term blockchain came with uh, Bitcoin, although it is accelerated recently, but we, can, we still value it as a wonderful idea to create a decentralized consensus system. For the P2P distributed ledger, blockchain defines a protocol permits transactions to be gathered into blocks and record. Blocks are immutable when, s when created, and the transactions are stored on blocks. Every node in the distributed network can access to the consensus ledger by looking through the blockchain history. A giant step in cryptocurrency is the Ethereum and its smart contracts. As you can see, blockchain can be treated as a distributed and decentralized database. Is it possible to store any customized information on the blockchain? 
Ethereum came with the concept of smart contracts, which is a program running on the Ethereum virtual machine. User can store predefined tokens on the Ethereum blockchain by executing the corresponding smart contracts. So Ethereum and the smart contract came with the uh, mm, provide us a platform to build open and decentralized applications. I must emphasize that this days there are a lot of crazy ICOs and many of them are just tokens based on S Ethereum smart contracts. Uh, um, we are doing different and uh, in a meaningful way. Another technology came the last demo is CryptoKitties. It soon become popular in the cryptocurrency world. Kitties are encoded into genome sequences and are stored on the blockchain. But most importantly, using ERC721, a, pro, a, pro, a crypto collectible token standard on Ethereum blockchain, ownership information can, uh, now can be handled by the uh, smart contracts. A proof of the proof of ownership open a door for much rich user experience, such as that user can purchase, collar, uh, collect, and breed or sell those virtual cats on the blockchain. CryptoKitty is interesting, but it still has few issues. The obvious one is that a kitty is composed of eight human-created parts, deterministically and uh, handcraftedly determined uh, sorry, by a few bits called genome, stored on, which stored on blockchain. As you can see here, the diversity is quite low. All those cats look, si look same, except, the fur, uh, those, uh, except for the fur texture. Sure, you can breed a new kitty from ex exceeding two, but as you can see on the right, child kitty has, can only get discrete, predefined parts from its parents. For example, check out the fur texture from the left kitties and uh, the eye colors from the right kitty. No, no, it seems less in exciting and more like a dress out game. Actually, the most critical problem in crypto kitty is the pricing model result from the issues I mentioned above. The in CryptoKitties, a kitty's value is simply determined from whether it contains a rare genus, which might be a rare fur or other parts. The, this volume in system can only cares about components instead of kitty itself as a world cap complex object. Definitely, this is not a r right pricing model for collections. Also, rare genie distribution can be easily controlled by the game provider. This might be a break the principle of decentralization in crypto games. However, we find that GAN is the perfect solution to this. Replacing genome to image decoding procedure with a GAN solves all above issues. This motivated us to build the crypto a game-based ERC-721 uh, so game. As shown in our previous works, a well-trained game is capable of generating high-quality and diverse images. We introduced the idea of attribute and noise serving as, the ge as genome, which converts to high-risk resolution images by game for enemy. Here, our model is based on progressively growing GAN. And the video of our model. Okay. For the game, we developed a bionic encoding and a Hereditary, uh, hereditary system. Each 294 bits genome is stored on the blockchain. Players can create new derivatives by pairing two origins. We show that a small fragment of a hereditary system uh, he, here. 
for example, this crypt, the left, uh, the crypt code in the lower row is diverted, uh, is d derived from the uh, upper row. It's for uh, for example, for the left crypt code, it behave, it exhibits color, a uh, higher color and higher styles from the upper right. But meanwhile, look similar to the upper crypto, uh, uh, upper left origins. In in crypto, general, uh, general me determines the entity. Pricing is influenced by subjective judgment. It's more like a real world. It's more like a real world collection. Also, the space of generated images is related to the gain latent space, which cannot be easily decomposed. So the market price cannot be controlled by the gain provider. It's, this exhibits a better decentralization behavior. Anyway, it's only a proof of concept project. Hopefully, we will release it as an open beta version next month. OK. Creating anime characters from no random noise seems, seems not less controllable if users want to specify more details. So we need stronger conditions that guide the generation of image. For, ex for example, given sketches of anime characters, user may expect it's a colorized version from the generating images. An excellent, an excellent deep learning based tools for this task is Pan Trainer. However, to create your own ca characters, you are still need talent to draw sketches. <laughs> but what if, what if you do not even have this kind of talent? Is there any way to express your need? This motivates us to explore that if we can automatically transform between a realistic photo of a person and uh, uh, anime characters. If you Google the anime with reality, you will find those images. This shows uh, what a skilled painter would do this for this very challenging task. The most successful idea in unsupervised image to image translation is the circle gain. This framework contains a forward interdomain <laughs> mapping and a backward mapping. They address a loss which they call circle consistency loss to enforce the structure preservation after applying forward and backward mapping. It might be a solution to this set, but <coughs> circle gain a local texture based image translation. It works perfectly on simple texture translation like hot to zebra, but in the settings in the setting of real photo to anime illustration, face, facial features has totally different scales and proportions. For example, larger eyes, smaller mouth, and smaller nose. <laughs> Handling shift distor dist distortion is very difficult uh, since circle gain is the FCN model. How, uh, Mm, we test uh, how the basic idea works, but it's not practicing, promising in, pr in practice. Mm, the, uh, if you directly apply the circle gain, you will get this kind of result. Which <laughs> uh, so we applied the landmark based affine transform to the training image defines uh, first. Without the procedure, circle gain cannot even learn our transformation. And uh, it's, it's still like to have model call-ups after the processing. Or even if you spend a lot of time fine-tuning the model architecture, the loss function, it might work sometimes. But it's still not satisfying at all, right? We improve the model by stacking the several transformation blocks together and train the model stage by stage. It's much easier to learn a coarse transformation in low resolution space than enhance it in high resolution space. Here are some results generated by our model. Compared to the vanilla circle gain, the route has a much better visual quality. 
Surprisingly, we find that local texture transformation learned by facial image sometimes can be directly applied to the wall, those wall images and uh, get create incredible results. Uh, since this is uh, still an uh, ongoing work and uh, we are still, uh, still, imp uh, still improving it, so uh, I uh, so I want to talk. Uh, uh, I do uh, so here. I will now talk ab about the detail. About works are more like a hobby project jointly done with my friends. We will continuously explore anime char character creations in the deep learning age. Hopeful, hopefully, hope one day this would help both professions and amateurs build up real enemies. Uh, that's all. Thanks. Uh, do you have any questions and comments? Right, <laughs> 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 you are really professional. <laughs> can, can you apply the same kind of technique to the other targets than anime? <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> 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 I, I, I haven't tested it, <laughs> but it, it might work. <laughs> what do you mean by other targets, Masashi? What do you mean by other targets? What do you have in mind? <laughs> 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 it doesn't have to be uh, like like God anime, right? <laughs> Any drawing or you know, sound or actually it has been applied to drawings. Oh yeah. 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 So there is a fashion generation. Yeah yeah. yeah. How about the generating the animation instead of still image? Oh uh, okay, I think uh the uh, uh, for the characters, the most important thing here is it can only ge uh, generate the front view. Uh, ah. So uh, we need the landmark. Uh, we need uh, uh, to to generate uh, images from other views. We need a better landmark si uh, detection system. I think. Circle gap. Uh, actually, actually, the, um, uh, this. Uh, do the, uh, so you mean this? The model collapse. Oh. Mm, actually, circle gap is very hard to train, and uh, you. Uh, uh, um, I think. Um, uh, uh, we find that. The Jin and Zhu's code do not. Uh, th uh, they add the drop out in. They have drop out code in their repo, but but uh, but uh, uh, they do not use it at default. Uh, after we turn on the, the drop out, and it w it becomes the the, uh, the 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 this part. Uh, I, I first I want to make a comment about the fact that yeah, actually there are some anime that are made using rotoscopy, so indeed it could be applied to this kind of thing, so it's like true actors moving and then the, there is a character that is then generated, so this is, could be applied to this. Uh, and my question is like, um, <coughs> just a comment. Uh, my question is, uh, you said that you were using um, attributes in order to, to use them as control Right, so which means in your latent space you have both you have like the learned latent features yeah. and you have the controllable features yes. which is uh, like I want a girl that is blonde or not. Yeah. So I guess uh, as your data like uh, your attributes were quite noisy, it must be hard. So I would like you to elaborate on that and like does it give you um, a way to measure how much an attribute is important compared to other ones? Uh, actually, in, in the multi-level. Based uh, uh, image generation, how to select the attri those attributes is very important. Uh, and for example, if you choose some uh, some very complex uh, concept uh, as the uh, as the attribute, uh, the, may, the the gang can may not able to learn it, so, uh, and so will reproduce the uh, will produce distorted images. Uh, uh, all time, and so um, it's uh, so how uh, so how uh, so the choosing of f 
the attribute subset all done by, uh, by experience and uh, heuristics, sorry. Because it, it, there seems to have been some works in the GANs in order to disentangle yeah. the different uh, actually, I, I, I would look like to um, spend more time on the attribute, uh, on the multi-level against attribute analysis um, uh, after that. So, in the first half, I think you have used a lot of copyrighted anime drawing. Oh, oh yeah. Training. Yeah. Isn't it problematic? Uh, actually, <laughs> there is a law in Japan. In Mm, in Japan, and uh, and uh, if you check the copyright l law, the seventh copyright law, and uh, and there is a, a uh, there is a, uh, 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 um, it's uh, uh, it says that you can uh, if you apply the uh, you can use images without the permission from copyright owner. To uh, 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 to those uh, big uh, big data uh, analysis or machine learning tests. Then what about in this case? So you, uh, we have we have we have a photo to generate similar anime characters. And can you? Can uh, maybe if you generate some uh, copyright protected uh, characters, uh, there will be some problems, and you must be be very careful about it. So, other comments, other questions? No? So, good. So, let's thank the speaker again and uh, all the speakers in this session. Yeah.